this is the smart contract of ERC20 token Binance and for those of you who don't know what Binance is Binance is one of the leading crypto exchange company from there you can able to buy crypto sell crypto and do trading in crypto so they do have their own tokens and here we are on etherscan and we are going through the source code of their token ERC20 token which they have listed on ethereum blockchain network and the code they have written in solidity the smart contract they have written so we're going to go through the entire source code and we'll try to understand that how we can create our own erc20 token and list as an ico and make money out of it okay so here we are on ether ether scan and here we can able to find the source code of every single function which they have written in erc20 token so for those of you who don't know what erc token is let me give you an example just imagine that you have released 100 coins okay and those who will hold those coin they, they're going to access certain facilities on the base of the token and even they can do exchange and make money out of it okay so in the same way they have binance release their erc20 token and they have a minimum price so you can come here on ether scan or you can go to any trading platform and you can check the current price and you can buy and you can have one okay so you can do trading most of the time right now everybody is doing on trading and making money out of it but here in this video we are focusing on the smart contract which they have written for creating their own erc20 token so being a developer and if you are if you are wondering that you should create your own smart contract erc20 token so you can add that into your company for example if you're a doctor so you have a clinic you release 100 tokens spread in the market people are buying and taking your service and they are getting extra facilities and offers based on the token and that's the one part they are getting the discounts they are getting the benefit but if they want to make the money out of it what they can do they can flip that token and sell it to someone else who needs that in that scenario they will both both the company who released the token as a clinic owner and the one who's buying they will have the benefit okay what they have done submitted for verification at etherscan.io so here they have mentioned the verification date when they have verified the smart so when you deploy a smart contract anywhere you have to verify that so here they have verified the smart contract and that's why you can able to see the verification batch so when you verify your smart contract you can able to see all the function which you are calling right here on etherscan and you can able to look through the source code okay so here they have a verification comment out here they have used the 0.4 0.8 version of solidity which is pretty old and here they have done some math calculations okay so these are the math calculation function they have created and all the transactions happen here it goes through this okay so you can imagine that instead of using a uh, third party plugins like like if you want to create your own smart contract uh, erc20 tokens so in today's time what we do we use open zeppelin is an open source library which provide all the functionality to create your own token and all the best practices are taking place there it's high in security so you can is you can trust that okay okay so here they are not using any external libraries but they have created their own functions so here you can able to see that they are taking int two values and they're passing returning c so this one is one check here they are also returning c they are doing another check this one is another for safe as you can see this is an add safe add so these are the check function they have added in the smart contract <clears throat> and here is a struct here is they have created the contract and and the actual contract gets started from here so what they have done here they are inheriting the this contract so they have created two multiple contracts here so the first contract is this and inside that contract they have created another contract and they are inheriting the all property of the this contract in this so you can able to see the safe method contract and they have given the name b n b is and here they have provided the general convention of the token so string public name so what is the name of the token then they have a symbol they have a decimals and this decimals and this decimal you have to add in your erc20 token so why this decimal is here can you guess because so when you release your tokens people can buy and sell in one okay so they can buy one token and sell one token but by providing this decimal functions feature in the token what you can do that the people those who want to buy if the price is too high uh, no one can buy one token okay they can buy a part of it but they can't buy the entire token then what this decimal do it will allow them to buy a specific part of the token okay a certain percentage of the token 
so that what this decimal here means so here is the total supply which you will initiate and this is the owner of the contract who will actually declare when the contract will deploy it here okay and here they are mapping through the entire data so they, they they have also given this comment so this create an array with all the balance okay so they are mapping with the they have taken the address type unt and public of balance freeze and these are the general mapping so if you don't know what mapping is in solidity i have a complete tutorial i have a complete course of solidity on my youtube channel i will add the playlist uh, right on top or somewhere in down so you can follow that okay where i've explained everything about the concept of mapping and recently i've built a complete project on web3 so this is the project we have built here you can able to see all the data of ethereum blockchain network and we're fetching the real-time data finding out every single transaction which is happening inside the contract every single details about the transactions doing by a specific address all the details we can able to find here so you can price the total supply of ethers and here you can click you can come to this page simply click here and here you will uh, and here we are fetching the data and here you can able to find the entire data so the count address corner the price he has in ether dollar conversions and here we have the complete details about the account transactions you can switch to the different tab and see all the transfer which they have done in the that particular address okay so this video would be live within the next three days of this video okay so within the next three days i'm going to make uh, i will publish the video the video is already ready so you can watch that let's come back to the today's topic okay so here they have a mapping here they have the events which they have created so whenever someone will call the functions an event will get triggered and it will have these data okay so again i'm telling you if you don't know about this emit event functions it's a part of my solid code so you can watch there and here is another function this one is for supply name unit and token supply they have given the command this is the transfer function and this is the approval functions this is the transfer form so when someone will buy the token so from which account to which account the token will transfer and how you will deduct the money from their account and transfer into your account so this is the function for that here is the burn function so sometimes what you have to do is to burn certain coins for example you have published like thousands coins thousands token and you want to burn some of it to create the demand okay sometimes you have to burn it so this is the functions no sorry this one is the function for the burnt and this one is for the freeze so what happened you want to freeze some balance so for that you have to add this function so for that you can write this function check this functions here is the unfreeze functions and this is the withdraw ether functions and this is the payable function so here you can able to find all the function which they have written for erc20 token the only motive of me making this video to show you that the code is available right up here so before you write your smart contract for erc20 token and if you want to and if you want to write a code for any company so if you want to write a smart contract for erc20 token so you can have a look okay these are the functions i have to create these are the functions i have to create it should be having an approval function it should be having a transfer functions so all the function you can able to find here and here you can able to find the abi of the contract okay so this is the complete source code you can able to find and you can decode this and just modify it and use it okay so that's how you can be a come a smart developer you can easily able to create this kind of things but things are already there you have to make things a little faster by just going through this source code and when you will review this code you, you will learn a lot of things as you can see if i come here in like in the token sections here you can find the erc20 to op tokens erc transfer all the tokens you can able to find so let's click on the erc20 token and here you will find the list of all the tokens and you can see the price the company name and you can see the current evaluations the pricing up and down is going because you know about the crypto the price fluctuate like hell and heaven okay so all the fluctuation price you can find so this is the i don't know what kind of this usd coin and this is the binance you can see binance aim to build a world-class crypto exchange powering the future of crypto finance so this one is pretty good this one is the binance usd and this one is a Dell stably coin i don't know and this one is siba this one is really down but it will go up okay so you can able to find all the list of coins which are there what i want you to do is to come and open each of the coin smart contracts so siba you it's really popular 
and let's come here and let's go through the smart contract so if you click on that you can come to here and here you can able to find all the methods so the hash transactions the method transfer method sending so all the methods they have in their in their function they can you can easily able to find here and you can able to switch and you can see all the transaction information all the details you can able to find so but the one we are interested in here just click on this contract address and this will give you the data which you need as a developer to create your own so here you can see the contract is verified and here you can able to find all the functions so let me scroll down let me make this big so you guys can see it and you can see that they have also provided you this comment that what they are doing so it's going to be a very good guide for all of you here you can see inheritance they have created and if, if they have used any external as you can see they have used the external file okay here they have using the plugin open zeppelin as you can tell open zeppelin so it's a very popular library for creating a smart contract and erc20 token non-fungible token or fungible token so i have a complete playlist of solidity so make sure you check that where i have covered everything about the fungible token and non-fungible token so you can see there they have used the library and from there they are inheriting the erc20 token and they are using some of the functionality which are there and you can able to check you can see so you can able to scroll down and you can check all the function they have created for this token okay so i want you to explore just go through this create your own smart contract and you can create your own ico out of it okay so once you build your smart contract and if you want to make it public so user can trade it so you can make a ico of it and just let the market decide whether the token has any value and if it's get popularity you can make money out of it okay so that's what i wanted to show you this is a very great resource if you want to be improving in solidity development okay you want to become a solidity smart contract developer because that's where the world is heading it's going to bring a huge financial revolutions okay definitely it's going to change the entire financial ecosystem of every single country okay the way we transactions the way we send money the way we buy stuff the way we experience financial goods that's all going to be changed by this ecosystem okay so must tell you to have a look on the smart contract which they are which is already there and that will give you a immense knowledge which you can use it and become a good developer so that's what i wanted to show you in this hope you have found this video valuable use this ether scan and again i'm telling you i have a complete tutorial which i have made it's 100 percent responsive application which we have built like maybe tomorrow like after three days you will definitely find a tutorial right there on my youtube channel you can watch from there okay so that's it i want to tell you have a great day and see you the next time